Hi everyone! This video is for you if you want to use Website.com email hosting services but you already have a domain and website with another provider. So if you're subscribed to a Website.com business email plan but you have a website and domain registered somewhere else, you can follow this tutorial to find out how to add the MX records in your DNS settings. In this video, I have my domain registered with Squarespace and I also have a website built with their site builder. Now I'll log in to my Squarespace account. On the dashboard, look for the domain name you manage and want to use Website.com email services with. Click the Domains button. Now click the arrow beside Primary. Now here you can manage your domain, so we're going to click Edit DNS in the top right. So if you see any MX records on this page, delete them. And now under Custom Records, we're going to click Add Record. So to find out the information that I need to enter in these fields, I'm going to open an email that I received when I signed up for the business email plan with Website.com. And everyone who subscribed to business email services while having a domain registered somewhere else will have received this email. Now look for the subject line in your email inbox action needed to use your business email service. And on this email, we're going to use the information for method number one if you already have a website on your domain name. So I'll go back to Squarespace. In the host field, enter the at sign. We're adding the MX record type. So we need to find out now what's right under priority and data. So we'll go back to the email. We're going to enter 10 for priority and mail to .sitemailserver.com. And note that for your account you may see something different so that's why you need to make sure you check your email that's been sent to your account. Once that's done, click Save. Now we're going to add one more record. We'll click Add Record. Again, under Host, enter the at sign. We're adding an MX record. We'll go back to the email, and this time we need to enter 20 for priority and backup.sitemailserver.com. And again, we'll click Save. And that's it. You should now be able to use Website.com for your email services while keeping your website and domain on Squarespace. Keep in mind that it may take up to 24 hours for these changes to take effect. Don't forget to subscribe to Website.com for more website tutorials and tips. And thanks for watching.